Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, Filomena. Hello, Hello. good evening. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Do you listen to good me? Good evening. Okay, great. I listen to you perfectly, guys. Brandon, hello, Janice Caroline. Thank you guys for being hello, here. Time. Hello, hello, good evening. So happy to have you here. Today is Thursday, only tomorrow, Friday, and then two days off for you. No classes on Saturday or Sunday. Okay. So class, I am so happy that you are here and it is exactly the time to get started. While the others join, we are going to start, right? We are going to start uh, reading the uh, agenda. And thank you so much for being here, for being on time. It is exactly the time to get started. Okay, so Filomena, Carlos Miguel, uh, Jenny's and Brandon, thank you so much for being exactly at the time for your responsibility. Okay, let's expect that the connectivity, your internet connectivity and the also the power, electricity is not going to be, you know, giving problems. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to start sharing my PPT as every single day that I do it. Okay, so class here, great. From the very beginning, today is October 6th, right? 2022, and it is Thursday the sixth very close the end of the year christmas is next door in a brief we're going to be we wish you a merry christmas singing right okay so today is our video conference number four and here we have greetings as every day the first activity i say welcome to all of you that is the first activity we're going to have a feedback Okay, on what we did in the previous class. In the prior class, we're going to be reading the objectives for today's class. We're going to continue working with um, a simple present tense, but with negative statements, okay? And for the preparation task also, you're going to be working with the simple present negative statements. So that is the big topic for today. And I expect that we're going to continue working students with uh, our manual, manual two, level two, module two, at pages 16, 17, and 18. Okay, if by any reason we cannot finish with uh, the activities, we continue tomorrow, okay? The idea is that you understand and that you practice as much as possible. And at the end, they're wrapping up of the class. And remember that I'm going to be asking one of you to stay with me, okay, for 10 minutes to have a feedback on the topics. Questions or comments? No questions, no comments. Okay, so class, I'm going to ask one of you to help me reading the objective for today's class, okay, the specific objective and the class objective. So here you have the specific objective for today's class and the class objective. One volunteer to help me reading. I need one of you to help me reading the objectives for today's class. Hello, only one, one volunteer to read. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Great, begin please. Objectives, a specific objective. Uh, describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments. Um, class objective. Participants will be able to make negative sentences in present tense. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. So, as Carlos read, the specific objective for today is describe you have to describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments you know other spaces and the class objective more directly 
you class as participants will be able will be able to make negative sentences in present tense okay so thank you so much carlos for helping us reading the objectives for today and here again a reminder don't forget the homeworks okay and evaluations in the platform tomorrow friday i'm going to be updating your grades okay so please continue working in the platform. And here, the requirements. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Okay. En caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Pero acá todos están inscritos. Nadie es oyente. Ustedes, ay, eh, voy a estar solo como oyente porque estoy en el trabajo. Pero son estudiantes registrados. Esto se refiere a que hay alguna persona que no está registrada, pero sí está agregada en el grupo como oyente. ¿Ok? Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. If it is possible. El sonido, minimizarlo lo más posible porque todo queda grabado. And obviously the active participation. And here, again, another reminder, attendance, 100% of the classes, 120 minutes each class. La eh, asistencia efectiva se genera al tener los 120 minutos de conectividad, ¿verdad? En cada sesión, dos horas clase, 120 minutos, ¿de acuerdo? Y ya saben que tomamos la asistencia dos veces con la cámara encendida. Tienen que eh, decir presente, present or here I am, here, ¿ok? Cuando decimos present, that's ok. Here I am, excellent. Or only here, synonym, ¿ok? And then the one-on-one -on -one session cuando nos estamos quedando con algunos de ustedes, ¿verdad? Para el refuerzo al final de la clase. Thank you so very much for your uh, cooperation. Uh, staying with me those 10 minutes, okay? And here, again, the mute button, camera on. We have available the chat in the WhatsApp group and also here in this... Uh, virtual class, when working in the breakout rooms, okay, active participation, we need to respect to show good manners, good manners, buenos modales. And if you need extra help at the moment, when you are in the breakout rooms, you need to uh, click on the ask for help button and there is no problem, okay? So here, let's continue. And we are about to finish Okay, the first week, section one, congratulations, because it is one step beyond, un paso más allá, okay, congrats class. And here, okay, this is the feedback. If you remember class yesterday, we were working with the countable nouns and uncountable nouns, yes? And I share with you this, uh, slide so you can have clear some examples about countable nouns. You can say, I have three cell phones. Okay, there are two snakes in the garden. Hay dos culebras en el jardín, yeah? There is a river near the park. A river, un río, okay? I have a blue car. Tengo un auto, un carro azul. Yes? Porque los podemos contabilizar, por eso son contables. Uncountable. No se pueden contar, no son contables. Some examples are money, time, water, soda, rice, coffee, sugar, salt, oil, gas, love, sadness, happiness, humbleness, intelligence, beer, wine, milk, chocolate, fruits, food, butter, meat, ham, bread, cream, sauce, tea, vegetables, mustard, liquid, ink, and alcohol. But some of them can be turned into <clears throat> countable. Pero algunos de estos los podemos convertir en contables cuando usamos un cuantificador. If you say, I have 
one hour to answer the exam. Tengo una hora. Ahí, how much time do you have for the test? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes para el examen? One hour. Una hora, ¿sí? Y así sucesivamente, si se recuerdan ayer, trabajamos en esto. ¿Ok? Do you have any question about countable and uncountable nouns? ¿Ok? In order to build questions for countable nouns, are you going to use how much or how many? Para elaborar, construir preguntas con los nombres contables, oh. utilizaremos how much or how many? How many? How many? Very well. Y con los nombres no contables, utilizaremos how much or how many? How much? How, how much? much? Very well. Okay, great. Thank you. And now we move to the next activity. Yeah. Here, how much and how many, as you correctly told me. Okay, so here you have a set of questions. For example, if I say, David, David Emanuel, how much water do you drink in a day? Uh, how much water four. do you drink in a day? Two liters. Four liters, cuatro litros de agua toma. Uh, liters. No, two. Okay. two, two. Two liters, okay, with real answer. And if I say, for example, um, Blanca Luz, hello, Blanca Luz, how much does your blouse cost? How much does your blouse cost? Your blouse, your blouse, with your reality. Su blusa, que precio tiene? Use your imagination if you don't remember the price, okay? So you say it is? It is, I said it is, mm -hmm. $5. It is $5, five, $10, $20, okay, you use your imagination. And if I say, how much fruit do you eat at breakfast, uh, Filomena? How much fruit do you eat at breakfast in the morning? Luz Filomena? Hello. Okay, how much fruit do you eat at breakfast? You may say, yes. no, si no come fruta, usted dice nothing, nada, or none. Okay? Yes. Ninguna. Mm -hmm. Una, si no come fruta, fíjense bien, usted puede contestar like this. Uh, like this. Como es contable, ¿verdad? How much fruit? ¿Cuánta fruta come? Entonces, um, si ¿sí cierran los micrófonos, por favor. Todos y todas cierren los micrófonos porque, ok. Podemos decir, uh, nothing, nada. Ok. Or none, ninguna. How much fruit? Nothing, nada. Porque como es... Eh, incontable la fruta, ¿verdad? Because you may say a bowl, a cup of fruit, ¿ok? Uh, or none, ninguna. ¿Ok? So, nothing or none are kind of similar. Pero none es cuando podemos cuantificarlo, ¿ok? Nothing or none. So, class, you're going to be working in the breakout rooms asking and answering these questions, ¿ok? So, here... We, with how much we have, how much fruit do you eat at breakfast? How much champagne do you drink in a year? ¿Cuánta champaña bebes en, en el año? Mm -hmm. You may say um, only a Nothing. little cup, only a little cup, una copita for Christmas or New Year's Eve, yes? Hay personas que, que lo toman a final de año o para Navidad, yes? Or you say only at social events. La, uh, it can be a, a wedding, yeah? A special celebration like anniversary. And you say only special. Or you say none, okay? Or nothing. Mm -mm. I never drink champagne. How much milk do you drink weekly? How much money do you have in your pocket right now? How much is a can of soda in your neighborhood? 
a can of soda, yeah? And here in the second one, the one that I asked Blanca Luz, how much does your blues blouse cost? If it is a boy, I would say, Carlos, how much does your shirt cost? Because blouse for a lady, shirt for a boy, a gentleman, okay? That's why here you have the two alternative, or you may say your dress or your, your, your pants, yeah? Your jeans, how many? How many times do you talk on the phone in a day? You may say many times, two times, okay? How many brothers do you have? How many partners do you have in the office? In la oficina, ¿cuántos compañeros tienes? How many books do you read monthly? Books do you read monthly? How many hours do you have to do your activities at work? How many rooms are there in your house? ¿Cuántas habitaciones hay en tu casa? How many printers are there in your working area? Not in the company, but in your working area, okay? En tu área de trabajo. So, how many printers are there in your working area? We have a set of questions using how much and how many. You take turns asking and answering, but try to use real information, okay, for the answers. And I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp, okay? But feel free right now to take a screenshot if you want to, okay? And you tell me when you are done. So we can continue with the speaking feedback, yeah? Shall we? Shall we guys, podemos continuar? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, Thank okay. you because, hello, Jonathan, everyone. Okay, let's see, Serafine is here. Uh, Ana Marlene is here, Clelia is here. Ana Veronica here, Noé is here, Juan Ezequiel, Merlin Oneida, thank you. Edwin, welcome, okay. Uh, David Emanuel and the others, my early birds, I already told them good evening, okay. So class, I'm going to share this slide with you. I know this is the full one and I need the, this one, okay. over here, this one. So you can have it via WhatsApp, okay? Okay, class, there you are. You have it in there. Yeah, and let me check here, Filomena, okay, Filomena, let me see, Luz Filomena and your name. Okay, I'm going to write here, Filomena, Filomena Luz Amaya de Salgado, okay, great. Okay, excellent. Noé, good evening. Okay, thank you, Noé. Serafin, thank you. Okay, now let's get started. And remember, you use real information, okay? To answer those questions. How much and how many? That is the practice. Okay, great. Here we go. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, but listen, before you go to the to the to the breakout rooms because of the time, I'm going to call your names so we can check your attendance, okay? Your first attendance. Is that okay? 
because it is the time to, to take your attendance. So class, here we go. Let's see. Ana Marlene. Marlene, here are I, you? Here I am, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you, Miss Vero. Brandon. Present. Great. Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you so much. Carmen Guadalupe, are you here, Carmen, or not yet? Present. Yes, thank you, Miss. I appreciate your attendance. Clelia, over here. Present. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Danny, are you here, Danny? Daniel? Daniel Alberto Ramos is not here yet. David Emanuel? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Edwin Roberto Mineros? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Ivania Elizabeth? Ivania, Ivy, not yet. Janice Caroline? Present teacher. Excellent. We listen perfectly to you. Jose Dimas, are you here or not yet? Jose Dimas. Jose Dimas, not yet. Jonathan? Here I am. Thank you for your responsibility. Jose Manuel Mejia, not yet. Jose Manuel, not yet. Okay. Jose Mario, absent. Juan Ezequiel. Present. Great, thank you. Marlene Oneida. Present. Thank you, Miss Marlene. Nilton, where are you, Nilton? Are you here? Present, I am here. I am here. Excellent. Serafin. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. William Francisco, always here. William, hello. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present. Teacher. Always very responsible. Thank you. Blanqui, Blanca Luz Delgado. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Very responsible too. Alejandra Michel. Alejandra, not yet. Adriana Beatriz, Beatriz Adriana. Noé. Noé. He was here, but now he's absent. Okay, maybe he is getting into his house. Okay, class, now I ask you, do you have clear the instructions about how to work with the set of questions with how much and how many? Is it clear? Or do you have any doubts? Estamos claros con las instrucciones, lo que van a hacer en los breakout rooms? Con ese bloque de preguntas? Yes? Todas las preguntas. Eh, Se las van a. Sí, sí, correcto. Así es. Toman turno porque la idea es que practiquen, ¿verdad? As much as possible, ¿ok? Any other question or comment? Teacher, teacher. Yes, Edwin. Teacher, eh, me cuesta entender, teacher, se oye demasiado, bueno, no sé, creo que es, soy yo demasiado cortado. ¿Alguien más escucha el audio cortado? Entonces parece ser, Edwin, que es su, su internet quizás está un poco inestable. Ok, y esperemos se le, se le, se le mejore el inter. Ok, bien, vamos a pasar entonces, ok, vamos a pasar a los salones, ok, the breakout rooms. Here we go. Open your eyes big because right now I'm going to send you the invitation, ok. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups and begin the speaking feedback, asking and answering, take turns, ok. Join your groups and practice speaking.
I need Blanca Luz in group number one. Okay, thank you. David Emanuel, go to group number two. Okay, and uh, Janice. Hello, girls. Ok, fíjense, chicas, que eh, me aparecen solo ustedes dos, pero cuando se crearon los equipos, había un par más de estudiantes. Por ejemplo, estaba Noé, pero como iba en ruta a su casa, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo este equipo me aparece con dos participantes. Las voy a enviar a otros equipos, ¿les parece? Para que no estén solo ustedes dos, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Sí, okay, perfecto, ok. Porque hay otro que tengo con tres, entonces. Ok, here. Ok, Clelia. Thank you. And... Ok, a usted, Jenis. Eh, dos, cuatro, dos, cuatro, todos están ya de cuatro. La voy a enviar junto con solo chicas hay ahí. La voy a enviar al equipo tres para que, ajá, para que no haya solo chicas ahí. En este momento le envío la invitación, Miss Jenis. Ok. Ah, eight, uh, eight cup, ocho tazas. Okay, listen, listen, guys. Here there is another uh, participant in your group. Uh, Jenny's, Jenny's Caroline is part of your group, okay? So consider her for asking her the questions too, okay? Okay, la consideran por favor para que participe preguntando y contestando, okay? Bye bye. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Entonces, ahí... No le entiendo la pregunta. How much does your Ella está preguntando que cuánto vale esta camisa. Uh -huh. Es que está blus, la pregunta que me habían hecho a mí. Blus es blusa, ya para mujer. ¿va? Entonces, sí. shirt es camisa. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, one quarter dollar. Bajaría uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Do you eat it at breakfast? Um, one, one, one fruit. Perdón, perdón. Eh, ¿Cómo te podría decir? Como cinco veces. Sí, cinco veces. Times. Five times. Ah, no, five times. Five times. Uh -huh. How many times do you talk on the phone in a day? ¿Cuántas veces hablas por teléfono en el día? No, 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 no. Bueno, no, fíjate que ninguna vez. How many partners do you have in the office? I have 13 partners in my office. How many books do you read monthly? I read one book a month. <laughs> How many you do you have do you do? Yo, activities at work, eight hours or ten hours. How many rooms are there in your house? Five rooms. How many? 
Le preguntaría a la otra compañera. ¿Cómo se llama compañera? Disculpe. Bárbara. Carmen. Filomena, tal vez Carmen. Usted, Carmen Guadalupe. El, Perdón. Carmen. Tal vez Filomena muta ahí el, el teléfono. El silencio. No. Gracias. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok, Carmen dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, Carmen. Yo le pregunto a usted. How much water do you drink in a day? Um, I drink three. ¿Cómo se dice litros? Liters. Three liters. In a day. How much does the blows cost? Uh, no I, fruit. I don't I pour I, I don't porque I don't eat fruit or nothing. Okay. Jose Mejia is in your group too. Uh, don't. Hola. Jose Mejia is part of this group too. Okay. Bye bye. Ah, se aquí está también, man. Listen here, here. I drink eight Uy. glasses. Okay, ah, pero son vasos o son tazas? Glass, uh -huh, glasses, glasses. Sí. Only I drink eight glasses. Ah, okay. Está de más el cap. Okay. Yeah, porque o son vasos o son tazas. Okay, oh, for okay, example, okay. if I say I am drinking my cup of of uh, water or my cup of tea my teacher, coffee, y my glass tea. no es como vidrio y vidrio es, como sí, se... también pero es que es el vaso de vidrio y el okay. cup puede ser taza o puede ser también vasito de papel o de papel eh, para tomar agua lo bonito, ¿verdad? de cones y los, ah. los detachables los desechables los vasos uh -huh. desechables, pero glases sí son meramente de vidrio, por eso son glases. ¿no? Ok. Ok, my shirt cost. Acá con S, porque es third person singular. My shirt cost ten dollars. I eat an apple, I eat a banana, I don't eat fruit. Uh -huh. okay, very well. I'm bye. La siguiente era la de champagne, que es lo que le preguntaba yeah. Neida. How much champagne do you drink a year? In a year. Que si no. toma champagne al... Ahí, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo? Ahí en español, ¿cómo es? ¿Qué, qué es? ¿Cuánta agua ¿Cómo? toma en el día? Ah. Si toma, va. Como si yo tengo que responder allí. Hay... ¿Cuánto agua toma? Si toma uno, esos cuatro litros. El compañero dijo que tomaba diez, diez vasos. I drink. Tú. Muchos, ¿cómo te diría muchos? Um, many, no, son varios. So much. How many, how many? Perdón. No, but, but what is the question? Tell me the question. How many printers are there in your working area? Ay, usted dice que hay muchas. There are many. Hay muchas. Porque como pregunta con how many. Okay. Okay. There, there are, are many. many. There are many. There are many. Okay. There are many printers, or you may say there are a lot of, porque a lot of significa mucho, tanto para contable como incontable. Okay. How much do you love me? A lot. I love you a lot. 
ok, pero a lot of, hay muchas de ellas o muchos de ellos cuando es contable, ¿de acuerdo? Ya. A lot okay. of. Okay. There are many, ok. Continue with the practice. Ok. How, how much money do you have do in you your have pocket? In your pockets. No, yes, it's pocket. not. Pocket, pocket. Nothing. 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 <laughs> I'm poor, very sad, nothing. Do you have something, Lenny? <laughs> ah, ah, yeah. Okay. In your pocket of your of your pants or your your shirt or blouse, yeah. En tu bolsillo. Ah, ah, yeah. ah ¿Cuánto okay, dinero cargas en tu bolsillo? Yes, that's it. In your pocket. Por eso puede ser en el de la camisa, en el pantalón, del short, del vestido, ya. De la blusa. Uh -huh. En okay, your pocket. One dollar. <laughs> oh, wow. You have a lot of money because I have nothing. <laughs> I have ten dollars. Okay. Uh, how much is a kind Oh, in your neighborhood. I have one dollar. Have... No, no, I have no. It is porque ya le están preguntando how much is a can of soda. Ah, okay. Ajá, la lata de soda que cuesta en tu, okay. en tu, tu comunidad, en tu vecindario, Colonia. 50 cents. It is, it is 50 cents. It is 50 cents. Yes. Okay. Hip hop. Remember the the music hip hop. Uh -huh. <laughs> 50 cents. Oh. Really? Okay. Sí. 50 cents. 50. 50. Yeah. Oh. Así es, ¿verdad? Oh. Oh. Una hora. One hour. One hour. One hour. How many brothers do you have? Two. How many brothers do you have in the office? Compañeros ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos compañeros? Eh, somos... Eh, 14. Jenny, pero usted estaba en este grupo, ¿verdad? You were in this group. ¿Quién es Caroline? Sí, en este equipo estaba con esta chica. ¿Quién es? En este equipo estaba. ¿Sí? ¿O no? No, estaba en cinco, parece. No. Ok, so Genesis Park. Es que como están ingresando y están saliendo, ¿verdad? Y eh, algunas personas que estaban ausentes al inicio ya se incorporaron también. Entonces están como muy saturados algunos equipos. ¿Sí? I'm sorry for the interruption. Could you please continue? Continúen por qué. Ok, sorry. Okay. How many books do you have monthly? Mm. Oh. Ay, ¿qué me pregunta ahí? Letters mm. in the world. Mm. Did you finish asking and answering the questions, guys? Yes. 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 Okay, all of them. Todas. Todos yes. todas y todos contestaron todas las. Ah, Jonathan is here. Uh, Noé, Blanqui. Okay, but you were in the same group, right? Only Noé joined later, right? Solo Noé se les unió un poquito después, ¿sí? Okay. okay. Thank you so much. And let's see. Jonathan, I have a question for you, sir. Hi. Okay, Jonathan, how many reports do you read 
uh, in a day at work. How many reports do you read in a day? Uh, uh, I don't. I don't read reports very well. Uh, Blackie, how many reports do you write in a day at work? Uh, I... Two. I write two reports. I write two reports every day. day. Every day, or I write two reports daily or I write two reports in a day, okay? Very well, thank you. Now let's get back to the main session room so we can continue practicing, okay? Thank you so much. Here, let's get back. Get ready with your manual class, okay? We're going to start working with the manual. So teacher, I have a question. Yes, Marlene. Uh, en una, una pregunta decía, how many brothers do you have? Mm -hmm. Se usa como en el español genérico, brothers. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I was expecting that question and I was going to clarify it. Okay. If you didn't ask, I had to clarify it. Here we go. It is different from Spanish because in English we have how many brothers do you have? Only boys. Yes. But if you want to talk about girls, you say, how many sisters do you have? Yeah, only girls, brothers and sisters. How many siblings do you have? Okay, siblings for boys and girls. Brothers only for boys and sisters only for girls. How many? Okay, so I ask you, Marlene, how many siblings do you have? I have one wow. brother and six sisters, for example. Yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Marlene, you ask me the question How many siblings do you have? Ask me. How many siblings did you have? I have one brother and two sisters. Okay. O sea que la respuesta sería sí. Sí, se particulariza. Separada. Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. To clarify. Porque acá estamos hablando de hermanos, pero mezclados, hermanos y hermanas. Cuando usted pregunta, how many brothers do you have? Only boys. Ahí solo puede decir, I have two. Or I have five, three, one. Okay. Ya se sobreentiende que es masculino, caballero, but if you say how many sisters, obviously talking only about girls, but together, brothers and sisters, siblings, that's why you need to specify, okay? Very good question. Thank Any you. other comment or question, class? No? Okay. Those are the questions that I like, okay? As we go over. And now, as I told you, we're going to continue working with our manual. If you well remember class yesterday, we were working with how many days a week do you work? These were the two last questions that you were asking and answering in the breakout rooms. Is that okay? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? And you were answering with your real information, right? Depending on your schedule, at work, your activities, and sometimes people make overtime. Yes? You know overtime? Horas extra. Tiempo extra, overtime. Okay. Um, well, I have uh, five hours, but many times I make overtime. 
Overtime, horas extra, tiempo extra, okay? Overtime. But in some offices, you are not allowed to make overtime because they don't pay it. And in other, in other companies, you make overtime and they don't pay it, yes? And in many, thank God, you make overtime and you receive a payment for the overtime, yeah? Okay. Now let's continue. And here we go. Now we're going to work with the conversation. We're going to practice. Uh, look at these two guys, okay? And we have, obviously, uh, Ben and Jeff, yeah? Jeff, how, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays, four weekdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. The stress goes at the beginning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. One more time. Jess, how are you doing? How are you doing is a synonym for how are you? Okay. What's up? How are things? How is it going? How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks, four weekdays. And sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Here, if you notice, do you, uh, I work extra hours? It is very difficult that American people say extra hours. They say overtime. Okay? That is the phrase you're going to listen, overtime. Okay, and then uh, for here for each extra hour, because here you are particularizing, okay, uh, the time, the overtime is around $10. Now I need two participants in order to read the conversation, the same as it is in your manual, okay? Two volunteers, we are at page 16. It is also part of the feedback because it is how much and how many. Two participants, don't run, don't fight. No se peleen por participar. Aye. Okay, I have three. Miss Veronica and Miss Marlene, you're going to read. And later, Juan Ezequiel is going to read with another boy. Okay, the two girls. Um, Marlene, you begin. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Vero? Okay. Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Great, girls. Now, Juan Ezequiel. Juan. Okay. 
Okay, I need another participant, one boy. Boy, boy. Hi, teacher. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, Carlos. Carlos, you are going to read with uh, Juan Ezequiel, okay? So, Carlos, you read Jeff, Ben, and Juan is going to read Jeff. Begin, please. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I was to ask you how many, uh, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week and do. Uh, that's great. I work for week, uh, for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hard? And how much money do they pay for extra hard? Um, yes, uh, I, uh, I work extra hours when there is so much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. I see where well, sometimes there is no much time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. David Emanuel, you're going to read Ben and uh, uh, let's see. From the list I'm going to. Milton. Hello, Nilton. Nilton. Hello. Okay, you're going to read Jeff. David reads Ben and you read Jeff. Okay, teacher. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. I will. I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekday and sometime of Saturday. Ready? On Saturday, do you work extra or? And how much money do they pay for each extra or? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. H uh, extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolute. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you so much. Remember, okay. I'm going to read it one more time before you go to the breakout rooms to practice this conversation. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? Really? En serio? Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours and how much? How much money? How much money? Do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work, too much work, demasiado trabajo. When there is too much work to do, each extra hour is around $10. I see, well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. Comments or questions about this conversation? No, okay, I'm going to tell you the instructions. Here you have different activities to do. Activity number one, you are going to practice the conversation as it is in the manual, as your classmates um, did it for you, okay? Así como lo hicieron sus compañeros para que ustedes lo escucharan, así lo van a trabajar. Later, 
you are going to use your names and your real information, okay? And you say, I work five days a week or five weekdays, cinco días laborales en la semana, or I work five weekdays and Saturday morning, or I work five weekdays and Saturday. Si trabajan todo el día sábado, okay? Because it depends on the, on your nature, the kind of job or position that you have. You have to make it real for you, okay? Tienen que asociarlo con su realidad, con su puesto de trabajo, okay? So here, for example, when it says, um, really on Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And then you say, eh, yes, I work extra hours or no, I don't work extra hours, okay? Depending on your reality, yes? Is that okay? Is it clear? Está yeah. clara la instrucción, yes? Okay, very well. So remember here, after you practice the conversation as it is, you're going to replace these names by your real names and your information. That is the first thing. And then here, you are going to circle in exercise three in the breakout rooms, the word that best completes the questions. You have two choices, much or many. How much hours a day do you work or how many hours? You determine as a group, how much do they pay per hour or how many do they pay per hour, okay? You discuss and you make your choice. Later, we're going to double check in the breakout room. And here, how to use how many and how much, you know, okay? This is a feedback of what we did yesterday, okay? Now, if there is no question or comment, I'm going to ask you to go to the breakout rooms, yes? Questions, comments. Pero miren, los voy a recrear porque fíjense que hay algunos grupos, si se fijaron, estaban sobrecargados, ¿verdad? De, de compañeros. Ok, here we go. Remember to take turns. I sent you the invitation. Ok, join your groups. and to practice. Jose Mejia, I need you in group number one. William, oh, thank you so much. Okay, here, Blanqui, Clelia, Jose Mejia, and Caroline. Okay, begin reading, okay? As it is, and later you switch, okay? Okay. Alguien que pueda compartir la, la, la pantalla del diálogo, por favor. José Mejía, maybe. Ahorita, ahorita veo si puedo. Okay, great. Con su nombre. Sí. Okay. Um, Primero lo tienes que leer tal cual como está, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Y luego you replace the information for your real information, ¿ok? Ok, de forma individual la, la primera lectura. Sí, así como primero, así como lo hicieron en el main session room, ¿sí? Como lo modelaron para uh -huh. los compañeros. Y luego ya va con la información, porque por ejemplo, uh, Michelle, Marlin y Edwin no tuvieron la práctica que usted tuvo, ¿ok? Uh, ok. Ok, bye. Y entonces... Sí. Do you work extra hours? Um, how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. A extra hours is our own. Chain money. Very good. Okay. 
Vale, empecemos entonces. Este sería yes. Hello class, here uh, you are uh, Dimas Barrera, David Emanuel, Carmen y Juan. Okay. Okay. Welcome Dimas. Okay. Sorry. Okay, eh, inicio yo entonces. Jeff, how are you do doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey. Some say on several days. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours and how much? Money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see where sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Ahora con, ahora será con, con la compañera, con Ana ahí. Ok, inicio yo. I see, will, some, some say, there is no much time, right? Actually. Absolutely. 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 Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Finish. Nosotros. And Vero? Who's going to practice with Veronica? Ah, okay, great. And did you practice with your information? Eso no, no le ah, okay, this is the step. Okay, very well. Excellent. Congrats, very well. Bye. What are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, a week. and you? <clears throat> That's great. Uh, I work for with days on some side of Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours uh, when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. 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 La fuerza va en la primera sílaba. Absolutely. Excellent. Hoy va Clelia y Jenny. ¿Dónde está Jenny? Ya no está Jenny. ¿Qué fue? No, Jenny's is here. Jenny's Caroline and Clelia. Clelia. Ajá, pero Jenny no está. No, Jenny. Jenny so, yo la veo, yo sí la veo. Jenny, Jenny. Is your microphone. Hola. Sí, ahí está. Hola, hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, ready. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Jenny. Eh. Ella es Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, ya, she's the hello. <laughs> ¿Y quién está hablando? ¿Quién está hablando? ¿Y por qué le ha cambiado el, el audio al, al, al micrófono? Con efectos especiales. It sounds like an alien. Yo me estaban asustando, dicho. Sí. Ok, ya, now it's better. Okay. And they were terrified because it is October. 
the terrifying monks, okay? And it is at night. Oh my God. Okay, bye. Continue with the practice. Um, quiero ver how much hours hours. Compañero Carlos, creo que se le ha apagado el micrófono. Sería how many? Eso sería much. Sí, much, much money is in a bank. Number two is many, many paper does a printer need. No. Creo oh. que, que cuánto papel creo que ocupa la, la impresora, algo así. Creo. Ajá, creo que ahí sí lo podríamos poner como how con, many. Con many. Ajá, con how many. much, how much paper. Porque usted habla de cuánto oh. papel. Ah. Usted, luego habla de las hojas de papel. Oh. Puede hablar de los pliegos de papel. Mm. Sí. Okay. Entonces sería how much oh. paper, cuánto papel. Uh, oh, okay. uh -huh. A package. Or five pages, yeah. Oh, okay, teacher. Okay, bye. Bye. Five days and you? Ahí serían cinco días trabajo usted. Cinco días trabajo. Ah, sería sit. Six, ¿verdad? Six, six. Entonces sería. Hey. Hey, Serafín, well and work, six. Day a week and you? That's great. I work six week days. ¿Verdad? Porque dice que trabajo no. cuatro días a la semana. No, six, pero, pero no, 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 no está correcto. Because the week has five weekdays. Los días de semana son cinco. Saturday and Sunday is weekend. So you say, I, I work five weekdays and Saturday. Y algunas veces los sábados, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. and sometimes Saturday. Sí, porque oh, los días nosotros... de la semana son, los días de la semana son Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. And Friday. Uh -huh. Pero so trabajamos los, todos uh -huh. los sábados, trabajamos nosotros. So you say, I work five weekdays and Saturday. Usted y trabaja sábado, los okay. cinco días de la semana y el y sábado. sábado. And okay, Saturday, okay? Okay. okay. Sí. I work, sería five weekdays, ¿verdad? And Saturday. That's okay, in your case, okay. very well. Okay. Okay, Filomena. Hey, uh, really? Fíjese que en mi caso, cuando yo enciendo la cámara, tengo muchos problemas de conexión y escucho muy cortado. Entonces, más que todo por eso mantengo la cámara apagada, ¿verdad? Igual aclaro eso por si ese es su problema también bueno al menos yo los escucho con interferencia demasiada interferencia pero Ajá, sí es que es, sí me pasa a mí lo mismo del internet. como ya estoy a punto de renovar yo los ya... oigo yo los escucho bien a los dos perfectamente entonces <risa> creen, creo que es inestable el internet que tiene yo, okay. yo también lo escucho bastante bien a los dos. Ajá, entonces probablemente el internet que tienen inestable, ¿ok? Ok, pero ya okay. hicimos los ejercicios, teacher. Y también practicaron con your real information, replacing those names by your names. And yes. That yes. Information yes. With your information. And did you answer the questions? Yes. yes. Sí. Ok, yes. great, excelente. So Thanks. let's get back to the main session room then, okay? So we can double check, yeah? 
Thank you okay. so much. And so sorry, Edwin and Marlene, for the problems that you have with your connectivity, okay? Here we go. But thank you for joining to the class. Here. Congratulations class, all of you were participating actively in the breakout rooms. That is nice. Remember, practice makes perfect, okay? But we're going to wait uh, for Clelia and Jose Mejia. William is still in his way back, Serafin also. Veronica and Noah, maybe they are still practicing, but they need to come back, okay? So here we go. Yes. This is what you were practicing, right? The conversation. So I need two volunteers to read the conversation as it is. But I don't accept the people who participated previously. Okay? Necesito dos voluntarios o voluntarias para que lean la conversación, pero no pueden ser quienes participaron anteriormente. Ok, Blanca Luz en Dimas. Very well. Dimas, you begin. You are Ben. And uh, Miss Blanqui, you read Jeff. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, Jeff, uh, how are you doing? Well, I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work, I work for you week days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now class, here. You participate if you want to, okay? Circle the word that best completes the question. For number one, how hours a day do you work? Much or many? How many? How many? many very how many? Well. Because remember, you can count the hours, the days, the minutes, the seconds. Yes, the weeks, but time, no. So you say, how many hours a day do you work? How do they much. pay how much? Because for salary, okay, for money, you say much. How much? Money. Very well. Much. And here, as a reminder, because yesterday we were working with how many and how much. How many? How many for countable nouns, for example, hours, days, weeks, years, etc. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? How much? How much is used for uncountable nouns? For example, money, time, etc. And the other examples that I shared since yesterday with you. How much money do they pay per extra hour? How much time do we have? Okay. Questions or comments about these structures? How much and how many? Any doubt? Ask me. Feel free to ask me, okay? No? Okay, let's move no. to the next activity. 
Aha, uh -huh. work-related events. Instructions, you are going to read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much from number one to number six, yes? You're going to complete with how much or how many according to the context and the nouns, if they are countable or uncountable. That is uh, the first activity at page 17, but at page five, here you are going to write. Write a six line paragraph about the events and activities you and one coworker do in your company. Okay, for example, this, look at this. In this exercise, you have a list of six activities, yes? They are one, two, three, four, five, six, but here there are no numbers. So you have to write the sentences, period, and then you continue because that is a paragraph, not a list of sentences. Acaban a escribir un párrafo, no un listado de actividades. This is a list of activities. This is a list of questions, yes? But here, it is a paragraph. Un párrafo, una oración, period, punto y seguido, and then you continue. Finish the sentence, period, and then you continue with the other sentence. Is that okay? Yes? So write the six line paragraph. El párrafo que van a construir es de seis líneas acerca de los eventos y actividades que tú y un compañero de trabajo o compañera de trabajo realizan en la compañía. Por ejemplo, you can say, let me see. Mm. Si se fijan, todas son oraciones afirmativas, ¿verdad? Sí, la que le están pidiendo. I answer the phone daily. Yes. Puedo hacer tres sobre mí y tres sobre un compañero o compañera de trabajo. And then I mm, check emails. Mm, I always. I always check emails, okay? And blah, 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 okay, another sentence. For example, I, I never have breakfast. Ah, but it is positive, I never is negative, okay? You may say, I usually okay, attend meetings in the weekdays. This is just an example, okay? And now you say, my coworker, let's use uh, my coworker, my coworker, and then we use a name. For example, if I say my coworker, Caroline, and then you start describing the activities that your coworker does in the office, okay? Las rutinas, actividades que haces tú y tres que hace un compañero o compañera de trabajo. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. But all of them must be affirmative. Do you have any question about that activity? No? Okay, very well. Listen, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms because in case that you have any doubt, you may okay, get some help from your partners because sometimes you feel kind of shy when you are in the main session room. You feel more comfortable when you are in the small groups and then you ask me, you see me preguntan más cuando están en los breakout rooms que cuando estamos acá, but don't feel shy. Maybe your, your question or doubt is the same that everybody has. Tal vez tu duda o pregunta es la misma que tiene todo el grupo. So feel free to ask, okay? And here we go. Right. 
now I'm opening the breakout rooms. Go to, you're going to do it individually, okay? And then you're going to read it to your partner. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups. Marlene, I need you in group number one. Edwin, I need you in group number two, Edwin. And Blanky, I need you in group number four, Blanca Luz. Thank you. Edwin, are you okay with your audio? Edwin. Edwin Mineros. Está bien con su, con su audio y con su internet. Edwin, hello. Okay. Teacher. Diga. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. In a seis, eh, pregunta, los employees does your company have, verdad? Uh -huh. Este, ahí, en el caso de la empresa que yo trabajo es grande. Uh -huh. En este caso, como son, para mí, es un incontable porque no sé cuántos trabajan. Entonces, no, no, pero, poner pero no, no, como no, porque los empleados se cuentan en la planilla. Cada compañía declara cuántos empleados tiene. Ajá, sí. ajá. Entonces, ajá, pero yo me refería en el muchos... caso de que yo no sé la cantidad exacta. ¿verdad? Correcto, pero hay una cantidad. Entonces, la, acá no podemos preguntar how many, how much employees. How much, ajá. No, ajá. tiene que escribir. Siempre es how many. many. Sí. Okay. Ahora, pero sí, fíjese bien, you're right. How many employees does your company have? And then you say, I don't know. There are many, many employees. Hay muchos, muchos empleados. Muchos, muchos. No, ya. Yeah. There are many okay. employees. I don't know. Siempre vamos a usar how many porque ellos tienen en su planilla la cantidad de empleados Exacto, en cada departamento. De Correcto. Persona. Sí, así okay. es. Ok. Porque si no, Hacienda dio puerto. Ok. <risa> ok. Very well. Ok. Ya terminaron ustedes las seis preguntas. Eh? Para que no. se Ahí avisen porque yo tengo el párrafo y las seis preguntas ya. Eso lo avisen cuando. ¿Quién más estaba con ustedes, chicos? Solo Clelia y José Mejía y yo, teacher. Tres. Veamos. Un... No. Eh, permítanme, vamos a ver. Eh, Ed, Edwin es el que tenía que estar con ustedes. Lo voy a traer para acá. Sí, lo que pasa es que él tuvo problemas con la conexión. Y... Ok. Ok. Sí, porque tiene que haber cuatro. You are in group number two. Sí, ahí hay cinco. Ok, teacher. Ahorita estamos haciendo cada quien las oraciones, teacher, uh -huh. ya para compartirles. Ok, muy bien. Excellent. Great. Hello, Edwin. I had to transfer you to this group because in this group I only had Jose Mejía, Clelia, and David Emanuel. Ok. And, uh, ok, in the other group there were five people. Yeah. So that's why you are here. So, uh, David Emanuel, please tell Edwin the activity that you are doing at the moment. William. Oh, oh. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. Edwin, me escuchas? Yes, I'm here. Tell me, what's your question? 
we have a question uh, for the one. En lo de how many, how much. Este, esta pre, tenemos la duda aquí. Unos opinan que es how many, otros opinan que es how much. ¿verdad? Este, dice money is in a bank. Uh -huh. Está hablando de dinero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y retomando lo que usted me explicaba, va por el banco sabe qué cantidad específica de dinero tiene, aunque nosotros no lo sepamos. Uh -huh. En ese caso sería how many. O sería how much. No, es how much how siempre much. que se refiera a dinero. ¿Por qué? Porque el dinero no se puede contabilizar, se contabiliza contable. los billetes por cada denominación y las monedas. Pero la palabra dinero no puede decir usted tengo 20 dineros. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces ahí es, how much money is in a bank? I don't know, there is a lot of money. No lo sé, hay mucho dinero, yes. Y respecto, yo en la segunda tengo how many paper, en el sentido que podemos contar las páginas que hay en la impresora. Las páginas, pero no el papel. Porque uh -huh. ahí Sería le preguntan por much. el papel, no las páginas. Sería sí. how much, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correcto, es lo que les explicaba ayer que del nombre incontable se puede convertir en contable. En este caso, eh, por how papel, much no por paper, las páginas en este correcto, momento. así es. Entonces, Entonces usted si puede contestar how, much, how many pages, cuántas páginas, porque usted cuenta las páginas, ¿sí? Teacher. Yes. Si en, si en la uno, si en la uno dijera que en realidad me la preguntan a mí, ahí se fuera money, ¿verdad? Money, ¿verdad? Si dado en la uno. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto tengo de dinero en el banco? No sería how, much, ¿verdad? How, me, how much money do you have in a bank? ¿Cuánto dinero tienes en el banco? Five dollars. Oh, correcto. Or 25 cents. Porque ahí de lo general se está yendo a lo específico. Del nombre en general money, usted solo está tomando la parte que le corresponde. Que todo el dinero mm -hmm. que hay en el banco no es suyo. Usted okay. solo tiene uh -huh. maybe one million dollars. Ok, ahí sí, okay. fíjense, el millón, un millón de dólares, porque el millón de dólares sí se puede contabilizar. Five dollars también, pero todo el dinero, no, la palabra dinero en inglés no se contabiliza ni en español. Ok, much, porque no decimos, if you say, en el ejercicio anterior, how much money do you have? Ok, ¿cuánto dinero tienes? No decíamos, I have five monies. Tengo cinco dineros. No, I have five dollars. Tengo cinco También eso, dólares. Y en la, en la cuatro que está preguntando sobre la información de internet, porque es incontable. Ok, that's correct. You cannot count the information. Usted cuenta okay. las noticias. Sí, hay una noticia. The news. The latest news. La última o más reciente noticia, sí. Pero la información no. Tengo dos informaciones, ¿no? Ok, so it is how much information. Very well. Information. Pero uno tiende a confundirse okay. porque la, la palabra en inglés y en español no da Correcto. Como paper, Correcto. por ejemplo. Yo el otro lo, lo, lo relacioné con páginas, no con papel. Por y eso, es la esa es la intención de aclarar y por eso les dije en equipo, ¿verdad? Porque acá como que tienen más, más confianza cuando los monitoreo de preguntar y cuando están en el salón principal no mucho pregunta. Ok, but that is the intention. Yeah. Por eso es que les han puesto se, estos ejemplos para que los clarifiquen, ok. Porque tendemos a get confused, to get a little bit confused, ok. Yeah. Congrats, continue. Thank you, Chichi. Thank you. Entonces la seguiría how many Oh. Hola, hola. Ok. Sí. Sería mi primera actividad. I go out to clean core. I, I, I go. Go out to clean core. ¿Qué en Spanish? Eh, to clean, clean cars. De, clean de limpieza. Clean, clean cars. Clean. Limpio autos. Los, los autos. Clean de cars. No, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo sería cancha, teacher? Ah, the fields. 
Ah, ok. Ajá, uh -huh, de hills. Ay, de campos. De campos. Espérame, ahí ya me perdí. Ya me perdí. ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo era? The hills. F-I-E-L-D-S. Hills. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's it. Hills. F I F. Okay. I as in Irma. E as in elephant. L as in loyal. D, ah, que yo estoy escribiendo feel de sentir, pero no, no es de sentir. Es de campo. Ok, listen. F as Ajá. in feeling. F as in feeling. Okay. I as in Irma. Ajá. E, e as in elephant. L. Oh, sí. Espérenme, ¿qué me está pasando? No sé qué me está pasando. Espérenme. I, es I dijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, vale. I feel. ¿Así? I mm. feel. No. Ok, listen to me. If, that's ok. I is ok. E, uh -huh. e as in elephant. Aquí, ah, aquí está. Así. I feel. No, I clean the fields. Limpio o hace, I clean, el verbo le hace falta. No, el verbo va después del sujeto. Sí, pero, pero, solo, solo estoy aquí que se me está trabando. Okay, okay. Sí, es que la máquina me está dando problema en el mouse. Bye. I clean the, the fields. Uh -huh, the fields. But ah, yeah, it is, yeah. no, yeah. but hold it, hold it. There is missing something. After the letter L, you need one letter D, as in diamond. D, as in diamond. D, fields. Fields. Después de la letra L. Ajá, sí, A la letra L. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, great. I clean the fields. Yeah. Okay, okay. perdón, ahí, sure. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. And sometimes, and sometimes clean the office. And sometimes I clean the offices. No. Uh -huh. the, let, let okay, this then attend the call clients. ¿Qué, qué, qué es eso? What do you mean by attend the call clients? Atiende o recibe las llamadas de los clientes o algo así. No. Lo escribí mal. Take, take. I take. The calls of the clients. Ajá. Take, porque usted en inglés dice take. I take the call. Oh. Tomar la llamada. Ok. Take. Pero ahí falta agregar. Take. Si no, si siempre, usualmente. The calls. O... Ajá. The calls of the clients. The calls. Uy. Of the clients. Of the clients. In general, clients, plural. Of the client. Letter S is missing in clients. Yes, yes, eso lo que. Ahí está. Se me, se me pone rebelde. Mm. The mouse is disobedient. Malos okay. nervios, sumado. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Review the accounts. Accounts with double C. Accounts. Account. Sí, ajá. Vaya, pero uh, pero acá... oiganme, ahí ustedes me están haciendo un listado de actividades y lo tienen que escribir como párrafo. Also comienza con A. Visit clients. Ah, sí, sí. Tienen que hacerme el párrafo, no lista de actividades. Es un párrafo, ¿ok? See you because Brandon is asking for help, ¿ok? Bye. Hello, hello. Yes, Brandon. Brandon. Teacher, yo tengo una duda. Este, en mi caso que yo, o sea, yo en mi empresa yo trabajo solo, solo haría mis, mis oraciones. Your, solo your six activities, yes. Uh -huh. Las seis actividades sobre lo que yo hago. 
Yes, love me. because you say I am lonely, the lonely. <laughs> I am solitaire. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y ahí cuando las hagamos solo se las vamos a leer a los compañeros, ¿verdad? Yes, that's it. Pero no son oraciones, van en párrafo, en no párrafo, listado. ¿sí? Ok, no listado de oraciones. Okay. Cuando la escribimos, usted no escribió que colocamos un punto después de... Ah, correcto, momento. porque eso es un párrafo. De lo contrario es un listado de actividades, ok. Ok. Ay. Ok. Usually, usually. Two usually. Letters, usually double L. Two letters L. Two letters L. And Y. Y. After yeah, letter yeah, yeah. L. Y. Usually. Estamos mal con la escritura. That's Estamos why you are yotis. practicing. No, that's why you're practicing. That is the idea to practice. Remember, <laughs> to makes perfect. La práctica hace la perfección. Ah, here also visit clients. Clients. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Usually write report or a report. Usualmente escribo eh, reportes. Write Ajá. report. Or report. Write a report. Y me elimina la palabra to. Escribo a reporte, no. Ok. Write reports. Okay. Excelente. Ok, very well. Y luego me lo convierten a parra. Ok, ahí estamos en eso, teacher. Ok. Hello. About to finish the paragraphs. Yes. Yes. Yes, finish. Yes. Ok, excelente. And did you read the paragraphs to your partners? Yes. Okay. And now here I'm going to share this and you tell me, okay, the missing parts. In number one, the question should be. Is many. How many? Number one. Yes. No, because the noun no. is money. Money is uh, uh, How much? How Sorry. much money is in a bank? Yeah, I have, I have yes, I remember, have you count the dollars and the coins, but money, no. No, I decir tengo tres dineros. ¿Verdad? Okay. How much? Recuerden, How cuando much? es acerca de dinero y de precios, always, but always, we use how Much okay. Now, in number two, the question should be how much? How much paper? Very well. Number three, how many? How many hours? Number four, how much? Excellent. How much info? Number five, how many? How many days a week do you rest? Number six. Aquí tengo duda, pero le he puesto how many. How many, porque usted ah, okay. a los empleados. Perfect. Todas las empresas tienen contabilidad de sus empleados. To pay them. Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aunque tengan cientos, miles de empleados, pero los empleados se cuentan. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. That's why we say how many employees does your company have? Okay, great. How, How many in number six? Okay, very well. And you have your, your paragraphs, okay? About your activities and one of your co-workers. Is it what you did? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay Jonathan, would you read yours for me? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, my activities is I always check my emails. Uh, I read documents for new requirements. I attend daily meetings. 
uh, my my co-workers for a document. Uh, my co-worker check the software of company. Uh, my co-workers attend meetings. My co-worker, my co-worker attends Attend, meetings. Okay, attends, attends meetings. Okay, attends very good. Attends. And Nilton, your paragraph. Okay. Uh, my activity is supervisor. Uh, no, 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 no. Pero no, no la vamos a escribir así. For example, you say like this. Similar como lo leyó Jonathan. Okay, so here you say, because it is a paragraph. Es un párrafo, no un listado de oración. And then you say, I supervise. Yes. What do you supervise? The employees or employees. the company? I supervise the employees. employees. Okay, what else do you do? I write reports. I write reports. Yeah, reports. Another activity? Uh, I check emails. I check emails. Now, my co-worker, what uh, does your co-worker do? Answer my phones. Answers the phone. Okay. okay. Is it a he or a she? It's a he. Okay, he. What does he do? Uh, as, assignar activities. How do you he say in English? Assigns activities. Assign activities. And, and the last one. He assigns activities and. Send emails. And sends emails. And that's it. Y ahí tiene un pequeño párrafo de ¿verdad? seis actividades. Ok. Ok. Thank Esto you. es un párrafo. ¿verdad? Una oración, punto. Continuamos la otra oración. Porque si usted lo dice, supervise, uh, write, eso es un listado de actividades. Pero acá, cuando sujeto, verbo y predicado, subject, verb, and predicate, ok, your complement, it is a sentence. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Now let's get back to the main session room. Thank you for sharing. Okay, class, I'm going to take your attendance. I'm going to call your names, okay? Ana Marlene, Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Veronica. Present. Present. Brandon. Present. Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Present, oh, you're back. Okay, thank you. Clelia. Present. Thank you. David. Uh, no, sorry. Okay, thank you. Danny is absent. Okay. His baby is sick. Edwin. Present, sir. Thank you, sir. Ivania. Absent. Jenny's present teacher. Thank you, Jenny's Caroline. Jonathan. Here I am. 
Thank you, Dimas. Dimas. Present. Thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Jose Mario is absent. Juan Ezequiel. Present. Thank you. Marlene. Present, chair. Thank you, Miss Marlene. Nilton, where are you, Nilton? Here. Present. Rafin. Here I am. Here. Here I am, Miss. In the moon. William Francisco. William, hello, William. William, Present. William. Thank you, Present. sir. Luz Filomena. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Luz. Blanca, Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present, present. Alejandra Michel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Al. Beatriz is absent. Noé, where are you? There you are. Very well. Now, thank you so much, class. Let's compare and clarify because some of you have, uh, listen, did I call all your names? Yes. Somebody else, Clelia. Okay, Brandon, Juan. I read your names, all your names, right? Okay, no problem. So here we go. So class, uh, what do we have in number one? The question should be how much or how many? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Very good. In number two, how much or how many? How much? Excellent. How much? Paper. Number three, how much or how many? How many? How, how many, many hours? Great. And here in number three, how many? Very good. Number four. How much? How much? Because you cannot count the information. So you say how much? Number five. Which one? What's how, it? Many? How, how many? How many? many? Great. Number six. How much or how many employees? How many? Yes, because they are people and we count people, okay? How many employees does your company have? And here I was listening to your paragraphs, okay? So I was monitoring. And here we have work-related events. In order to continue with the class, the grammar extra practice we have. Simple present for third person singular. We do and does and the negative statements, okay? Now, you're going to tell me some of the activities that you don't do at work, and I'm going to write them, okay? Here, as a class, we're going to write a list of activities that you don't do at work, okay? So tell me, class, some of the activities that you don't do at class, okay? I don't. For example, I don't clean my office, yeah? Because somebody else does it for me, okay? Now tell me the activities that you don't do. I don't. I don't make staff schedules. I don't make uh, staff schedules. Excellent, very well. And then tell me one activity that you don't do at work, Emmanuel, David Emmanuel. Yeah. I don't. Uh huh. David doesn't. I don't print report. I, Dave, and okay, he says, I don't print papers. And then I write, David doesn't print papers. Yes. Okay. okay. Very well. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Mejia, tell me one activity that you don't do at work. Que no hago. Yes, you don't do. Um, I don't. 
Um, I don't write report. I don't. Uy. It must be with capital letters. So you say, I don't write reports. I report. Okay, this is what he says. But now I can say, uh, Jose, we. Oui. Jose doesn't, yes, doesn't write reports. Okay, I want you to notice this class. I don't write reports, no problem. But David doesn't print. In third person singular in negative, we don't add letter S. Do you notice that? Se fijan que en la negativa no le agregamos S al verbo, a pesar de ser tercera persona de singular. Why? ¿Por qué? Because we are using the modal auxiliary doesn't in negative. Y como estamos usando el modal auxiliary, el verbo ya no se ve afectado y se escribe en su forma base en lo normal, a pesar de ser tercera persona de singular en negativo. ¿De acuerdo? The same happens here. José doesn't write. José is third person singular. Pero no le agregamos la letra S porque llevamos el modal auxiliary. Yes or no? And then we say José doesn't write reports. ¿Ok? Questions or comments about this? Preguntas sobre esta situación? No, teacher. Ok. Now, class, tell me one activity that one of your partners don't do. For example, I would tell you, according to what I have been listening to you, I will say, for example, um, Filomena doesn't visit clients. Yes? Is that correct, uh, Luz, Filomena? You don't visit yes. clients. Okay, so I yes, say I she doesn't visit clients. Yeah, ella no visita clientes. And then I would say Jonathan doesn't, okay, Jonathan doesn't have lunch in the office. Yes, Jonathan doesn't have. No, no le digo Jonathan doesn't has, no, porque va, does not, okay? So, what are you going to do right now? You are going to write in the breakout rooms one sentence describing one activity that your partner doesn't do at work, okay? Because we're going to reinforce the third person singular. So, let's do it very fast because it is almost time to say goodbye. Okay, so go to your groups. Okay, I sent you the invitation. And write sentences in negative, simple present, as I did in the example. Así como lo hice en el ejemplo yo. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Join your groups, Filomena, go to group number one. I need Janice in group number three. Janice Caroline in group number three. William, I need you in group number four, William. Filomena, I need you in group number one. And William, please move to group number four. William, I need you in group number four. And Filomena, I expect that your connectivity is getting better. Okay, great. Excellent, here we go. Ajá, entonces en este caso, ajá, podría ser. Serafín doesn't prepare, prepare, prepare reports. Ah, la respuesta ahí sería, no, I don't, ¿verdad? Sí, pero lo único que vamos a escribir es la I don't. third person oración. singular. Third sí, person ajá. singular. Ajá. Van a reportar lo que otro compañero o compañera no hace para que practiquen la tercera persona de singular. ¿Ok? So we mm. say, uh, Serafín doesn't, doesn't prepare reports. Doesn't prepare reports. ¿Ok? Very well. ¿Ustedes firman? One activity that you I... don't work. 
que es la oración de algo que, que no, que no realizamos. Uh -huh. okay. Y luego yo voy a describir de José Mejía, yo de, de él voy a decir, hablando de tercera persona, contándole a, a Clelia, por ejemplo. Ok. Mm. Only one activity that you don't do. Ah, teacher, no lo había visto. <laughs> Simple activities. Yes. I don't call clients, okay? For example, or I don't prepare meetings, yeah? Mm. Or I don't example, schedule meetings. For example, teacher, I don't call client at work. Okay, that's okay, excellent. And then Jose is going to say, uh, David Emanuel doesn't uh, call clients at work, yeah? Okay. Okay, good. No, no atiende clientes. No, doesn't assist. No, 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 Sí, tiene razón. Es que es que este mouse. <risa> She doesn't, doesn't, no don't. Does. Doesn't here in number three. She doesn't. Este mouse sí está mal. Ajá. Uh -huh. Present. <risa> Present. Acá la letra. Eh, ahí no fue el mouse, fue el keyboard. <risa> Acá present, las letras están invertidas. She doesn't present. Present. Okay. Okay. And en T. Report in English. Reports. Okay. Aquí es NT. Yes, en T. Así, present. Reports. Ah. Reports. Report. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. In English. English capital letter. English capital letter. Yeah. Okay. Letra mayúscula. Okay. Capital letter. Okay. Continue. Thank you. Qué mal ando con eso. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't be client. Uh, she doesn't present reports in. Finished. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. May I listen to your sentences? Puede escuchar las oraciones. Who has the sentences? Tengo una duda. Y yes, Miss Marlene. Conducir. Drive. Drive a car, drive a bus, but ride a motorcycle, drive a truck, ride a bicycle, ride a motorcycle. Okay.
Thank you, class, for coming back and for practicing and paying close attention to what you are doing. I am happy for that and congrats for you because you are engaged and you are engaged in the learning of the language and focus on the activities. Congratulations. Okay, class, tomorrow we're going to continue with this activity because it is time to say good night. But I'm going to ask one of you to stay with me. And I'm going to ask uh, Edwin. Where are you, Edwin? Edwin, are you here? Mr. Edwin Medeiros? Okay, would you please stay with me after class? Okay, Edwin. okay. Okay, so class, remember to continue working in the platform because tomorrow is Friday. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you did a great job. Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Happy at least. Happy at least. Likewise. Happy bye. Bye, bye. Good morning. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye, David. Bye, Seraphim. Bye bye, everyone. Only Edwin is me, okay? Bye bye, Vero. Bye, Carmen. Bye, Filomena. Bye, bye. bye, Brandon. Good bye. night, teacher. Have a good night. Okay. Bye, Juan. Bye, bye Brandon. Bye. bye, 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 Luis Filomena. Bye, bye, Filomena. Okay, Edwin. Do you listen to me clearly now, Edwin? Yes. Okay, so your connectivity is better. Filomena Luz, bye-bye. She was having problems with the connectivity too. Maybe she is out. Okay, mm. do you have any problem with the use of how much and how many, Edwin? Tiene algún problema con el uso de how much and how many? Con la diferencia? Eh... Me cuesta bastante relacionar cuando es contable y cuando no. Ok, vamos a trabajar un en poquito es, en, en, eso. En, en, en esto me trago bastante. Ok, vamos a, a ver si le podemos ayudar, ok. Um, veamos. Here. Ubiquémonos en la página 16. How many and how much. Yes. How many? Utilizamos how many para hacer preguntas acerca de los nombres contables. Por ejemplo, el listado que les presenté ayer de nombres contables. Y acá les ponen que también son contables las horas porque las podemos contabilizar. Los días, las semanas, los años, los meses y otros nombres más. Cuando vamos a preguntar sobre ellos, utilizamos how many. How many days a week do you rest? Si yo le hago esa pregunta, Edwin, a usted, how many days a week do you rest? The answer is, ¿cuál sería su respuesta? Para esta pregunta, how many days a week do you rest? ¿Cuántos días a la semana traba, eh, descansas? Eh, sería I rest Ajá. porque le están preguntando cuántos días, no cuáles días ok Ajá. I rest one, two, eh, three, four, five eh, one, one I rest one I re day one. one day I day. rest one day esa es la respuesta a cuántos días descansas. I rest one day, descanso un día, porque los podemos contabilizar. Por eso preguntábamos con how many. And then, if I ask you, Edwin, how many hours a day do you work? The answer should be, ¿cuántas horas en el día trabaja usted? How many hours a day do you work? Uh, eight. I, I work I work eight eight, eight, hours. eight, eight hours eight hours a day or daily right sí yes. porque las horas las puede contar también ahora bien si yo fíjese bien le digo a sus compañeros acerca de estas dos actividades suyas yo voy a decir 
Hey class, do you know that Edwin rests okay, one day? In simple present. Porque Edwin es una persona, uno nada más, tercera persona de singular. Por eso al verbo yo le agrego la letra S, ¿sí? Y luego a la otra, I work eight hours a day. And then I write in the other sentence, when I report about your activities, cuando le reporto a sus compañeros sobre sus actividades, Edwin works eight hours daily. Yes. Yes. Si se fijan en estas dos oraciones, Edwin, no llevo ningún Richard, verbo perdón, auxiliar. Te, uh -huh. ¿Te está compartiendo algo en la pantalla, Tito? Sí, le estoy compartiendo acá. Porque a mí, a mí me sale toda en negro. En negro. Fíjese que hay un problema. Que ayer... Antier en la clase eh, pasó ese mismo problema, parecía todo en negro y la clase se grabó como que fueran cuatro horas. No sé ah. qué habrá pasado. Y, y en, en la imagen me aparecía cuando estaba con su compañero, que como que no le estaba compartiendo nada. Ya, no, este no, 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 no. Vaya. Y ahora, si mira hoy mi sí, pantalla. Sí. Hoy sí, Ay, hoy sí, hoy sí. Y bien raro, fíjese que no sé qué estará pasando con Zoom. Porque en la clase del martes, ahí aparece, pero se grabó después toda la clase y la grabación quedó como de cuatro horas. No sé qué habrá pasado ahí porque, eh, digamos, creo que fue hasta como una hora. Y yo, ¿y qué pasó aquí, verdad? ¿Y por qué de cuatro horas? Y después me aparece, pero después eh, no me aparecía él. Así como yo lo veo ahorita en la pantalla a usted y me veo, ¿verdad? Y le compartía la pantalla. Pero luego aparecía yo hablando y, y no, no aparecía nada en la pantalla. Entonces, no sé qué, quizás alguna actualización de, de, de Zoom o no sé a qué hora es que sucede eso. Bien, pero ahora sí visualiza, ¿sí? Sí, hoy sí. Ok, muy bien, perfecto. Entonces, fíjese bien, acá he escrito yo sus respuestas. I rest one day. I work eight hours a day. Yo trabajo ocho horas al día. Y le decía, cuando yo le comparto esta información, le comento a sus compañeros en la clase, yo digo, Edwin rests one day. Edwin works eight hours daily. ¿Sí? En estas dos oraciones, al verbo yo le he agregado la letra S, porque estoy hablando de Edwin. Es como que yo dijera, he. He rests one day. He works eight hours daily. ¿Sí? Como está en afirmativo, entonces lleva un cambio el verbo. Pero si yo paso estas oraciones a negativas, Edwin, que era lo que estábamos trabajando, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo quedarían en negativas estas oraciones? Sería Edwin. Edwin doesn't. Ajá. Doesn't. Rest. No, doesn't rest. Ajá. Doesn't rest one day. One day. Okay. One day. Y ahí ya sería, ¿verdad? En negativa. Pero acá, como estamos utilizando doesn't, el verbo ya no lleva la letra S, a pesar de que el sujeto siempre es tercera persona de singular. ¿Sí? ¿Se fija? Es lo que estuvimos trabajando ahora, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok. Y si convertimos en negativa la oración Edwin works eight hours daily, the sentence should be, ¿cómo sería la oración? Edwin. Edwin. Doesn't. Doesn't work. Ajá, uh -huh. doesn't work eight hours, eight hours. Okay. Porque estamos convirtiendo la oración Edwin, la segunda oración en negativa. Edwin doesn't work eight hours daily. ¿Sí? ¿De acuerdo? Sí, sí. 
Okay, muy bien. Then we have affirmative. Edwin rests one, rests one day. Edwin works eight hours daily. Edwin doesn't rest one day. Edwin doesn't work eight hours daily. Yes. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando does not, el verbo auxiliar, más la partícula negativa, en las oraciones o el presente simple negativo, cuando es tercera persona del singular, el verbo ya no sufre este cambio que le agregamos la es. Sí, solo va a ser en afirmativo, ¿de acuerdo? Y ahora volviendo con how much, Edwin. How much for countable nouns? Uncountable, sorry. Vamos a utilizar how much con aquellos nombres o sustantivos que no se pueden contabilizar en su forma natural, en su forma general. Por ejemplo, money and time son los clásicos y les decía las emociones, los sentimientos no se pueden cuantificar, ¿sí? How much money do they pay per extra hour? ¿Cuánto dinero pagan? Acá estamos preguntando por el dinero, pero no vamos a contestar con money. They pay three monies or ten monies. No, vamos a contestar con la cantidad de dinero que nos pagan, ¿sí? How much time do we have? ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos? Ah, uh, we have five minutes left. Tenemos cinco minutos más, ¿ya? Ok, if I ask you, uh, Edwin, how much money do they pay per extra hour? The answer should be, they pay. ¿Cuánto pagan por hora extra? Use your imagination. They pay. Eh, eh, como oh, 1.25, no sé. One dollar no sé and 25 cents. Um, okay. Per hour. Per hour. Hours. Per extra. Hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They pay one dollar and twenty-five cents per extra hour. Yeah. And now the second question: how much time do we have? Cuánto tiempo tenemos? You can say we have. ¿Cuánto tiempo tendremos? Use your imagination. Uh, uh, five mi minutes. Min we have five minutes. Five min we have mi five minutes left. Todavía tenemos cinco minutos. Okay? We have five minutes left. Entonces, que le quede claro, Edwin, que how much, ¿ok? Para lo que no se puede contabilizar. Y how many con lo que sí. Ahora bien, no se me vaya a confundir con algunos nombres o sustantivos, al igual que money y time, ¿verdad? Ellos por su naturaleza son incontables. Pero ya cuando los convertimos a pregunta, ya se pueden contabilizar pero no vamos a utilizar exactamente esos nombres o sustantivos. Porque acá, how much time do we have? Usted no me contestó, we have uh, five time. No, ¿verdad? Usted me dijo, we have five minutes. Tenemos cinco minutos, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Y lo mismo sucede con otros nombres o sustantivos. Cuando preguntábamos al inicio, how much water do you drink a day? ¿Cuánta agua tomas en un día o diariamente? Usted no me va a decir, I drink uh, five uh, waters. No me va a decir, tomo cinco aguas. No. I drink five glasses of water. Yes. Or I drink one little of water. Yeah. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Creo que ya le ayudé un poquito más, ¿verdad? Bien, ahora vamos a practicar antes de finalizar pronunciation. Here. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? 
that's great. I work four weeks day, four weekdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Now you read Ben, and I'm going to read Jeff. Okay. Okay. Begin, please. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Thanks. Agreed. I work for week days on Sunday on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is the too much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, now repeat after me, Edwin. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I want to ask you. I want to ask you. How many days a week? How many days? How many days? A week. A week. Do you work? Do you work? Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Well. Where? I work five days a week. I work five days a week. That's great. That's great. That's great. I work four weekdays. I work four weekdays. And sometimes? And sometimes? On Saturdays. Of Saturday. Really? Really? On Saturdays. One Saturdays. Mm -mm. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. Do you work extra hours? Do you work extra hours? And how much money? And how much money? Do they pay? Do they pay? For each extra hour. For each extra hour. Yes. Yes. I work extra hours. I work extra hours. When there is too much work. When there is too much work. To do. To do. Each extra hour. Each extra hours is around. It's around ten dollars. Ten dollars. I see. I see. Well. Well. Sometimes. Sometimes. There is not much time. There is not much time. Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Very well done. And I'm going to ask you, are you taking the class in a computer or you use a, a phone? Toma la clase. Computer. Toma la clase en computadora o en teléfono. No, en teléfono. Ah, por, sí, porque como usted hablaba de la interferencia, ¿verdad? Que cuando el internet lo siente así un poco un poco débil y también por lo de la pantalla que la veía en, en negro sí 
Pero cuando okay. me decía eso que yo le estaba presentando y usted la veía en, en black, no me veía a mí tampoco. ¿Cómo no? Usted sí. Ah, pero no veía lo que se presentaba. Ok, great. Para considerar. Ok, thank you so very much. Congratulations. Thank you for giving me your extra hour. Ok, your overtime. Have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Ok, bye bye. Take care. See you. Sleep well. Happy sleep. Bye bye.